young team this year. They're working very hard. Um, you know, we've, we've gone to some bigger meets, went to Grand Valley State University with some kids and uh, Youngstown State. So we've been to some bigger meets and also had an opportunity to go to some smaller meets to get some, uh, some experience and, and build on, you know, what some of those young folks are doing for our program. So. The season's gone a lot better than I could have ever imagined, really. Um, I bounced back from some setbacks in cross-country season, and now track is going like right where I want it to be. Um, you know, I'm still up there in the national rankings, and um, we're definitely at the top of, at the, top of the conference, uh, top of my game as far as I'm concerned. So I'm really excited coming into the conference week. I see a team that's ready to compete. They're ready to go out and do some big things uh, this weekend at the NCAC Conference Championships. We have a very young team, but uh, I think the freshmen are ready to step up uh, to that level of competition. I'm excited to see what they, how they react to that competition, but I'm also ready to be there for them to uh, mentor them and make sure that they're all ready to compete at the highest level. The season's been going pretty well so far. Um, we've had a lot of people put down some really solid performances, and so we're just looking forward to you know, going to the championship and seeing what we can all do in that like, much higher energy setting. But the work is all there, so we're ready to go. Uh, there's always pressure to do well you know, at the collegiate level. I think our kids do a great job of responding to pressure. Uh, we try to put them in positions to feel pressure throughout the course of the season. Uh, so, you know, that, that prep phase throughout the year really prepares us for a meet, you know, that has a championship atmosphere. So, uh, when you get to a big meet, you know how to handle those situations. When you get into a tight race or it's coming down to your last jump or your last throw, uh, they know how to go in composed, level-headed, and still be able to compete at a high level. It gives us more confidence for the most part because we have a very, you know, positive association and perspective on how it's going to go. And we know, we know how good it feels to do well and all come together and even pleasantly surprise ourselves. So um, I think we're excited to kind of channel that again this year. For me personally, I'm ready to uh, take first place at the conference championships, definitely in the 200. I feel like that I've trained for four years for this. Uh, so it's my time to take that championship. Uh, but I expect good competition from the rest of the, the conference, and that's going to make it even more fun. For everybody else that's sprinting, we, are all, we all look the best that we've looked, at least from the, my four years being here. So we're all ready to come in, really compete extremely hard, and hopefully all take all conference uh, spots this weekend. On the men's side, Alan Ball's done a great job. You know, he started off the year strong and is finishing the year strong here. I think he's fit, fast, and ready to go. Andre's done a nice job uh, with long jump as well as some 60 dashes. He's also running some 200s. We're trying to get Sean Parenti back healthy on the sprint side of things. He's coming into his own, ran a nice time in the 400 last week. So uh, on the women's side, we've got some young people that have shown some, some really good promise. Uh, Kayla Smith is ranked ninth in the 60 dash right now, headed into the championships. I think she's coming into her own. Uh, Mackenzie Robertson has put together some strong performances in triple jump as well as in the, in the short sprints. Uh, so we're excited to see kind of where that group is going. Katie Frowley has been a surprise for us. She's worked hard, hard all fall and have put together some really good 400 meter time. So we're excited to see what some of those young people can do. Uh, here in this championship atmosphere. On the field side, uh, my teammate Andre Bryan, he's always been a, long, a great long jumper, so he's going to come out, give the, competi give the other com uh, long jumpers great competition. Uh, he's always, he always does well in uh, high intensity uh, situations, so if other people bring their best, he's going to bring it even better. Very young, very young, talented group. Uh, you know, on the men and the women's side, we only graduate one, uh, which, will be, which will be Andre. Uh, you know, they have experienced a little bit of injury throughout the course of the year, so some are trying to get back healthy. Uh, Mackenzie had something earlier this year. We're getting Jen Johnson back. You know, she was an all-conference performer in the triple jump last year. Uh, she'll be competing for us, so we're excited to see her. Uh, but, but overall, that jumps crew has been a really, you know, stable crew for us, uh, and we look forward to seeing what they're going to be able to do this weekend. I've seen some really good progress, I think, on both the field and the, the sprinter side of things. Um, I know the sprinters, I think, are still like kind of, we have a really young team, so people are still trying to get their, their feet under themselves and hit the times that they're looking for. But um, I think conferences is a great chance for um, sprinters to really 
you know, make a name for themselves and to get those times that they've been looking for all season. Um, there's so much energy with everyone on the team that I think it really helps boost everyone's like morale and get everyone really excited about their races. So we also have a lot of people on um, our thrower side of things that are also up there in the rankings for, for conferences. So they have the potential to, to get us some really, really good points. I know our uh, throwers historically have been the ones that have really boosted our point scoring um, for the day. So I'm really excited to see what they can do. Yeah, the throws group has is, is been a stable group for us. They're doing a great job. Uh, you know, one of the things that I love about the throws groups is that they are uber competitive. They always, you know, are, are trying to, you know, strive to throw further and throw further and throw further. Uh, so they have a nice atmosphere right now. Curtis has done a great job, uh, you know, getting back in the swing of things with shot put. Started kind of slow, but getting back into it. Uh, he has been more consistent in weight throw. Uh, we're excited to see what Noah Parker is going to do in the shot put, um, as well as Barry Tevro. Some Barry's coming back this year. He studied abroad earlier this season, so missed some time with us, but is back and is looking stronger and better than ever. And uh, and Liz is a very exciting freshman right now. She's uh, you know she's going to be like an unsung hero for us, hopefully, and can score well in the shot put. She's going to throw weight throw as well. Uh, she's got some work to do on weight, but it's, you know I'm excited to see how she's going to finish this this indoor season. Thrower Curtis Williams, oh, he's going to do some amazing things this weekend. I've been watching him since a freshman. Uh, he got an all-conference mark as a freshman, so he's already been great competition for the conference. Uh, and I think this year is the most locked in. He's the strongest I've seen him all in the three years that he's been at Allegheny. And I think he's going to come in and wipe the floor with everybody pretty much. Uh, I don't see much competition coming from anybody else with the way he's been training. On the distance side of things, we are really, really strong in, in conference uh, competition. We have some of the top times um, in the conference in most, if not all, of the, the distance events, um, both guys and girls side of things. So uh, we definitely have a really good chance of taking home some conference titles and um, just having a really good showing on the distance side. You know, a very young t contingent as well, uh, you know, so that's exciting as well. You know, the best, the best part about our groups in general uh, is that we're young. Uh, and that's also, unfortunately, the worst part about our groups is that we're also very young. Uh, so it's a very talented group. That distance crew has been a stable for years here at Allegheny College. And uh, we hope to continue that tradition. Uh, most of them are ranked very high uh, in the prospective events. Uh, so, you know, that group I know is, is ready to respond to the challenge of competing at a high level this weekend. Um, we're feeling pretty well. We're a really young team. Um, it was kind of the same in cross where we have a lot of depth that we haven't had in the years past. Um, and some new people with fresh perspective and we're, we're ready to go. So. Uh, for long distance, uh, John Hughes and Carter Smith, I see them working out every single day, rolling out for hours after practice. Uh, they're going to come in and do some great work too. Their bodies are ready. I think that they're going to run amazingly uh, this weekend as well. Both for myself and the team, it's pretty similar. Just we've, you know, again, we've got a lot of depth, a lot of talent, and we want podium finishes for every event. And I think we can do that. We're prepared for it. Team's goals individually, uh, we want to win. So looking at the points so far, we think that we have a very good chance to definitely be in the top three as a team on the men's side. For myself personally, the, uh, the only... The sky's the limit, so number first place or bust. That's my uh, mentality walking in. Definitely to get those top titles, those um, NCAC, all NCAC positions. Um, we have people in every one of the events, so just making those spots known, um, being confident in our abilities and knowing that we are able to uh, compete really well against the rest of the conference and take home some, some really good titles. I want to remember this meet as a fun meet. I want to remember it as a relaxed meet. So I don't want to put too much pressure on it being uh, my last one. It's bittersweet because I'm, I feel the strongest that I've ever felt in four years. But I want it to be relaxed. I want to just come out and do what I've been training. So when I look back on it, I want to say I gave it my all. If it's not first place, if I gave everything that I had and I still feel like I competed at my highest level, I'll be happy with it. I want to have fun with my team. I want to have fun with the competition I've been running against for four years. So I when I look back again, I just want it to be a fun meet. Just be confident. Trust the training that you've been doing. It's all there. And the key is just to bring it out. I mean, everything that you've done that's going to make the biggest impact, you've done already. So just believe in yourself and go for it.
We run the track meet for a reason. You know, I, I you know, I like preseason racing rankings. I'm okay with them, but at the end of the day, we have to run the track meet. Uh, you know, our primary goal is to go into this weekend and be fierce, fierce competitors and let the chips fall where they may. Uh, one of the things that you know I have tried to coach and, and instill into this group is that we need to be fierce competitors, and no matter what, if someone's going to beat us, they have to almost bleed to do it. You know, so that is our mentality: is to be fierce, fierce competitors, and uh, and if that means that we're going to score a lot of points because of that, then God bless it, we'll rock and roll on it. So I'm excited to see what they can do. Uh, the Gators will be ready to compete.